Welcome back everyone going into the second half here of dropped frames. I'm going to spring this on you. You guys want to do the game of game, our game of the year show on January 1st. Are you here? You could. Mm, it's a Sunday. Be, oh, that's a Sunday. If that's okay. Yeah. It's Sunday. It's not anything. I mean, it, it's up to you guys though. Cause that will, that's new year's day. I don't know if you have familial. Yeah. Normal, normal me would uh, or or like past me would be like fuck no i'll be hung over but like now me is like yeah it's just another day dude let's go okay i'll I'm need to verify but i think so okay i think that's fine if not we'll do it on the 8th because if we do it any the because the sunday before that is christmas you guys want to do a show on Christmas? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. I won't be here anyway. So <laughs> that works for right. me as well. No that show on the 25th. We got Golden Boy next week. Probably get a fourth uh, as well because Zeke's going to be gone. It's going on. Have you said where you're going on vacation, Zeke? Oh, yeah, you did. We talked about that in the first half. That's right. Yep. Uh, and then the 11th will be our God of uh, War spoiler cast. Uh, we'll grab a fourth for that as well. The 18th, I don't know. Our last show of the year. We'll do something for it. I don't know what we'll do, but we'll figure it out. Let's talk about games. We got an hour. It's, we haven't talked about games in months. Uh, Zeke, I know you finished. You're halfway through. Are you, are you, where are you, what's going on with this Metal Gear Solid thing that just happened? Uh, that came out of nowhere, I think, for both you and, and I. Didn't know you were going to be playing through Metal Gear. I didn't either. Now, how this all came up was, uh, as you, as, Many of you probably know I do uh, for 100 month subs. Right. I do uh, uh, a game, any game of their choice, uh, any any game that I can uh, play on Twitch without violating TOS, i.e., porn games. So uh, one of the games choices was from a uh, a long time sub, obviously, and a friend, handicap hobo. He said, "Metal Gear Solid, play Metal Gear Solid." And I was like, he asked me if I had ever played. I said, "I played up to Psycho Mantis." Like, I remember the Psycho Mantis fight, and I played it on GameCube. And he's like, okay, you're going to play this on PlayStation, and you're going to play all the way through it, or you're going you're gonna to play it for my sub game. So I was like, all right, cool. So I started playing it, and uh, it was so Kojima. I don't know how to describe it. It's really weird. That's, that's perfect. Yeah, that's a, I, that's a great way. It, it, like, it says, like, it's like right under Metal Gear, it says, tactical espionage uh action i think yeah and i was like okay tactical espionage. I, you know, I love splinter cell this ain't splinter cell this ain't nothing even close to splinter cell no, this no. is wacky fucking kojima teen boy fantasy land <laughs> um sure that's his genre and it's it's nuts it's crazy like the storytelling speaking of storytelling like, if you were saying, like, lore is in storytelling, but you like Kojima games, like, you're a person that I don't want to probably hang out with. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. Because this storytelling is so all over the fucking map. And I've done this voice and this impression, but this is what it, this is the impression that this game gives me. Ready? Here we go. So what if, what if, if we, if we gave, if we gave the, the guy, he had his arm, but his arm was like a, like a person what if that person that it was in his arm was from the last game and then and then it like took over his mind sometimes and then and then, but but like he would be like the guy he was a clone what if the what if there's like three clones of the same guy but like he was like this super soldier guy but he was so dumb that he, he didn't know like he would repeat everything you said like but he's like super awesome with guns and stuff like that's I'm glad I put up the spoiler alert <laughs> metal gear for me. That is metal gear for me. Like that's, that's what it feels like going through these games. You're a genius. What, wait, what, what if, what if he went into a locker and then like, there was like a, a girly picture in the locker and then he took a picture and then the girl he called was like, what are you doing? Oh man, that'd be hilarious. What if you could shoot the ice cube Zeke and they each had their you, own that, physics. Now, listen, <laughs> just because I'm saying this doesn't mean I'm not having a fucking blast with it because I am. I'm, I'm, I'm through three games now. And, uh, 
I am a couple of choices that I made that made the games last a lot longer than they should have were uh, all three games. I try to do non-lethal. So no kills. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a feat. And you put that restraint on yourself. It becomes a different game. Like it becomes a lot harder because I, yeah. I have a feeling like if you go through and just myrtleize everybody, that game will be over in a 10th of the time. But the fact that I'm, I'm like, I've got to either, you know, choke them out, tranquilize them, stuff like that. But boy, does it make it really fun and it's a fun challenge to do. Um, the thing that I will say about these games, I have uh, appointed, I suppose, a designated Easter egg hunter in uh, <laughs> the form of, of a, a viewer named Ty Martinez. And he like has been following me as my companion through all of, like the last two Metal Gear games with like a a web page or a book or something open saying or like a tragedy guide like something open saying like okay now here there's two easter eggs and there are so fucking many oh yeah so many little things that you would miss if you if you you could happen upon them sure accidentally but if you're going through the game like a normal game you'll miss 80 percent of them at least of these of these cool like funny worthwhile easter eggs like it has been supremely worth it yeah. to find all these easter eggs because some of them are just they're wacky they're weird they're oversexed they're uh like completely unnecessary like absurd and like I, i've gone so far and I, I think i probably showed you guys these but i've gone so far as to make cards for this game they're the kojima cards there's a <laughs> yellow card just like just like soccer or football there's a yellow card and a red card topical if you ask why what the fuck what's going on what how anything like that kojima card you get a warning you ask again you're ejected there you go because don't don't bother it is a it is a futile uh a, a gesture not gesture a futile exploration Effort. don't ask why just go with it dude just yeah. go with it just accept everything yeah um the amount of detail in the game I think I understand where like the term genius gets bandied about when talking about Kojima. <laughs> it's not because his storytelling is uh, cohesive or concise. It's because the level of detail in this jumbled mess is insane. If you look for it. Oh yeah. The, just the codex calls alone. Like someone said in my chat a few times, MSG three, has eight plus hours of nothing but codec calls. I'd believe they that. have descriptions of food, of birds, of movies, of like everything Kojima loves. Like you can tell, like I much? watched this, I watched the movie, The Thing, and I'm gonna put it in my game. I watched uh, yeah. uh, Frankenstein's uh, or, or Frankenstein, the classic, you know, uh, MGM or whatever movies. Like. I put the creature from the black lagoon. I put Frankenstein. I put Dracula. I put Wolfman. I put uh, all of his favorite shit is in the game. If you are willing to sit through the, the calls in the codec and stuff, you don't skip anything. And yeah. I try not to skip anything. And I will say that added probably at least a good four hours onto the game. Just listening to all the codec calls. Cause I didn't listen to every single one. I don't know if I could, but <laughs> some of it just becomes like a lot talking for talking sake, which I'm I'm excited for you to get to Metal Gear Solid Four, because of mm -hmm. all of all of the games, Metal Metal Gear Solid Four is like nice. It's the handkerchief. It's the yeah, by uh, the way, yeah, the OP. That is the, <laughs> the <OP>. goat. The <laughs> goat. Is that supposed of to be all Clark? the Metal Gear games of all three that I played so far? The goat of the best weapon. <laughs> <laughs> hang up uh, knock out shit on a handkerchief yeah i yeah. was like there was a there's an Strong. escort quest in this and it is awful thankfully it's short but it's awful <laughs> yes it's yeah. like oh, it's like with the worse doctor than, with sokolov yes. or whatever yeah no 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 no. it was it's with uh, uh ava oh, oh oh yeah 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 and all i did was like <laughs> every time we get caught by people i would just be running around with this hank and just like smell this smell, smell this, this. Yeah. smell this <laughs> smell this and I knocked out at least like two dozen guards, just yeah. like trying to get her like to the end of the escort quest. Yeah. But yeah, OP, definitely the best. And oh, also for sure. Um, one of the final bosses must have allergies or something because he's weak to that shit. 
You just right. walk up and I'm like, plow, plow. Like, I'm going to electric punch him. Oh, really? It puts him to sleep? I didn't know that. Well, it doesn't put him to sleep. That's a non-lethal. Like, oh, that's a lot how of you times non-lethally you're, kill him. Yeah. A, a lot of times in boss fights, your, your guns don't work because bullets, like, bounce off yeah. for a Kojima reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, like, trying, trying to, like, trank dart, trank dart, trank dart. Like, what else can I do? Like, I don't, like, like doing the, the fisty cuffs is cumbersome. It's, like, it's punch, punch, kick every time. Yeah. And it's just so, like... Once you get into it, if you're like punch, punch, kick, it's it's unforgiving. They just knock you down and like hurt you and stuff like that. However, if you have the there's a second place best weapon, a uh, cigarette gas, like <laughs> you, you knock out gas from a cigarette from a fake cigarette. Right. So that that those two combined are your best. If you want to do a non kill run, those are your best weapons in the game. So you can either use either one of those, but nice. like because you're Trank bullets bounce off some some enemies. Sure, sure. So. Uh, I was gonna say Metal Gear Solid Four out of all the games that you played thus far is like the most movie like, where cutscenes yeah, are like cut scenes, ninety minutes yeah. long. Yeah, I've or heard. It, in a lot of ways, like he invented the uh, press uh, hold down W story games <laughs> with Metal Gear Solid Four because there's a lot of that in that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so I'm, I'm curious if you'll have as much like I, for my interest, Metal Gear Solid 4 is my favorite, but the gameplay is, all, I feel like the, I don't know the actual hours or minutes to like gameplay to movie type stuff, mm-hmm. but I feel like it's generally less in four. It's been some, some time since I've played it, but I don't know if you'll like that more or like that less, uh, cause there's less game for the grand in the grand scheme of it. I listen, I stopped expecting things. Like, I sounds like in the first game, I was complaining, like, this is tactical espionage action. Like, I'm just sitting here listening to phone calls. Yeah. And then about halfway through it, I went, this is the game. Oh, okay. Woke up my mind like, all right, the game is phone calls with some tactical shit peppered in. It's Got it. Okay. That- and the next game, Metal Gear Solid 2 was the, by far the most convoluted weirdo fucking introducing twist toward the last five percent of the game bullshit yeah but I, and four. i loved every second of it <laughs> yeah okay then maybe you'll like four a lot because it's oh i will i'm sure i will because i like shit. two better than three it's absolutely bad shit bananas and then the, the complete opposite is five has like the most gameplay five has probably yeah, five like, is five feels totally different it's like uh, i think if you want to do a full story completion it's like 70 hours or some shit like it's a it's a massive 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 game if you want to get like all the cutscenes. yep yeah Uh, but is that one so kojima or not yes it was his last it was like it was kojima but it it, there was an issue i think with the end right didn't they not let him finish it how he wanted or something i I don't remember the exact details yeah there was there was an issue with it yeah, I don't think he yeah, could yeah. finish it because he, he got removed, fired, let go, whatever. Whatever the verb yeah. is for that. Um, yeah. And then the, the, the other question, Seeker, are you going to play Revengeance? Because I think you have to. And I think you'll like that one Revengeance the most. is a totally different game. Revengeance is Devil May Cry, and I like the Devil May Cry games. <laughs> I think you'll, right? but so, it's also story relevant, kind of. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't have to be. Okay, it's it's great. It can take, it can take place on, on planet you know, Zarth or whatever the fuck. I don't give a shit. (laughs) It has one of my favorite final bosses. uh, They'll tie it in. In action games like that. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh really? It's, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. You have to play as Raiden though, right? It is a Raiden. It is a Raiden. Oh God. We hate him for some reason. Oh, (laughs) I think Raiden's great. (laughs) Yeah. Like it's a huge consensus thing that people hate Raiden enough. So I think that's because this, yeah, Get this. I watched. There is a. Um, uh, I think you mean at the Jack end of Metal Gear Solid Three. When I actually, when I, yeah, exactly. When I got to the end of it, uh, Ty, the my Easter egg hunter, he sent me a video of, um, actual dev made in game engine like bloopers. Oh uh, yeah. What was it called again, guys? For my chat, what was it called? Uh, um, it actually has a name. Um. It well. Secret Theater. There you go. Secret Theater is what it's called. So if you look up Metal Gear Solid 3 Secret Theater, 
it it's like a half an hour or give or take of dev made not, not bloopers but like funnies i guess oh, okay yeah uh th- there's a, a like a consensus oh god this is so good i love that Ryden is wearing a thong yeah um uh there's a there's a it's not a consensus but like there's some contention about like why or who made these things like were they fan suggested ideas was it done for like the release of the game the devs made this for like a party for everybody involved with the game to laugh at and shit like that but at the end of it there is the teaser for metal gear solid 4 and um it's there's it shows like a director's chair or like an actor chair with like main character on it and Raiden's sitting there like looking at it and he gets fucking booed like these are the people who <laughs> made the fucking trailer like made the game and he's like sneaking out the boo i think they it's fucking boo his ass i think it's because like two was such a bait and switch that they were trying to they wanted him to be like the stupid snake or like the the bad snake if that yeah. makes sense right like he was never I supposed to know. be i don't know i really don't yeah. know i i didn't care like it didn't bother me at all like the only thing i think the thing is uh they kojima like shoehorned in like a relationship back and forth between raiden and his lady yeah and uh it, people just I, I i was like is this gonna be a thing for the oh it's gonna be a thing for the entire game okay and then i was along for the ride that's fine i didn't i, I didn't mind it You're it talking was about corny Rose? it was yeah there yeah. you go yeah it was corny it was fucking dumb at times it was absurd it was just you know very all like, the above ridiculous it yeah kojima yeah yep. but like i i i was forgiving i i forgave that but it was i can see how people would hate it because it is tedious yeah. like if you want to listen to those codec calls like at least most of the codec calls in the game like in the other games uh before and after like those codec calls dealt with shit in the game sure they might have went on too much detail or like they went the long way around by explaining the entire plot to a movie in order to give you a life lesson in the game you know yeah. relating to the game but like that particular relationship had the least to do with the game than any of the other codec calls so it was like it seemed unnecessary and very like eh, relationship garbage which you know <laughs> Why That's are you throwing right. relationship garbage in the middle of my my teen espionage fantasy shit? Because <laughs> Kojima, yeah, yeah. You should. Uh, I don't know how how <laughs> this will sound negative to the chat, but uh, streamer Lego. I don't know how long you're wanting to stretch the playthrough out, but uh, you should watch all of the trailers before you start a game. Because like around Metal Gear Solid Four, it starts to get a little fucking like he's smelling his own farts <laughs> with the trailer whoa, whoa, stuff, whoa, 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 whoa. and it's great. It's great. It's ten four out of ten. Four is where he starts smelling. His I farts. think four is where it starts. Like watch some of those trailers, dude. It's fucking ridiculous. And then when you get to five, five is like I mean we did drop frames I think during the five uh, yep. saga, so you can even go back and watch a lot of our like first reactions to. I want to say some of the E3 reveals for five. Um, Cause I'm, I won't even, that's a whole, that's actually, I don't want to spoil that for you, Zeke. That's how much that goes uh, with, with, with five res, uh, reveal. So you should, yeah. uh, you should check them out. They're kind of fun. I'm really apprehensive about watching shit before I play the game. And the reason why is because in, in a lot of Japanese uh, media, they just spoil the shit and they don't care. I don't like if you watch the trailer for a lot of games like like yeah like, I know what Yakuza, you're saying. Persona Judgment. game like Yakuza oh, yeah exactly yeah. they spoil a lot of shit in the opening credit or the opening sequence. I'm trying sequence. to think like what chat would be the best to to know if that happens with four. He he does so much misdirection is is essentially what Kojima's trailers do for all of his games, uh, at least you know four and five. Um, and yeah, I realize that that a lot of media now does it, but. That's just how Japanese stuff is really bad. Like it's, it's super bad. Like I'll just put put it to this way, the the one hugest twist, the hugest thing in Metal Gear Solid Three, when you boot up the game, and it has like because I got the HD collection, it has those three games. It has a blurb. First fucking sentence, it's like, hey, guess what? 
you're not playing who, blah, 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 who you think you are. Like, <laughs> really? It spoiled that for you? Right out the gate? Like, that sucks. Really? Did you know that at I all? Still, I still, I no. still like uh, the king, I, in my opinion, is still in Yakuza when it shows one of the characters getting shot in the first reel of the game. Really? Like it shows getting murdered in the first reel of the game. Yes. Wow, oh, dude. It's fantastic. I didn't know that. Okay. So you finished three, Zeke. It's over. Yes, I did. When yep. are you starting four? Three. Next I got it, the. I actually did it with no kills. In two, I tried, but it's hard to know sometimes if they if because sometimes they like, fell off or something like that. Exactly, yeah. they'll fall off something or or you know something will land on them or they get burned to death or something you don't even know. Yeah. But this game, I actually made it through with zero kills, which I was very happy about. Nice. Um, and I started that escort quest thinking and assuming that the lady who uh, ava the lady who you're escorting she has a revolver and she starts shooting people i thought that her kills counted thank oh. god they don't yeah i'm just gonna tell you if you're ever gonna play no kill they don't count so you can let her shoot whoever she wants baby because that was a fucking i was like i'm never gonna do this yeah. i'm not gonna make it through no kill if, if her kills count they don't so, but yes uh metal gear solid 4 uh is now listen Metal Gear is a big meal, and it needs time to digest. I just had a juicy Kojima steak, and I'm not about to Three have a, a Kojima rotisserie chicken right after that. Okay. So I'm going to give it, you know, a little bit of time to digest. Going to go on vacation. Probably going to check out some other games. Signalis is on my list. Oh uh, yes, uh, of, of oh, course. Yes. Uh, Callisto Protocol is on my list. Yeah. Um, we'll check those games out, and then. Metal Gear Solid 4 is coming. Okay. But hype it up. Be patient. Smart. Yeah. I like it. That's smart. I like it. Yep. Cool. That's Metal Gear talk. I'm glad you're playing through those. I don't know why. Me too, man. I don't know why you never you never played them in the past. I think I I want to say for five that both Ko and I did like play. I know Ko did. You did a franchise playthrough. I want to say I did everything yeah, my first but one. Revengeance. Yep. Yeah. They're fun. When did they come to Xbox? Because that's what I had. I think that might be why oh, they much, were late coming to Xbox. I want to say not till the 360. Well, no, they maybe had them on the original Xbox. I th okay. I would think the. I'm just trying to think of why I missed them or whatever. Yeah, they're but yeah. I was yeah Nintendo Super Nintendo, then Xbox. Yeah. If you're really, if, if it's more of a Kojima playthrough than it is a Metal Gear Solid playthrough, you could always check out Zone of the Enders too. Mm. Zone of the Enders one and two. Mm. Yeah, that's a thing that exists. I want to say <laughs> Zone, Zone of the Enders, one of those games had a trailer for one of the Metal Gear Solids when you beat it. Or maybe it was packed in, it had a demo. There was something that they did was like, here's Hideo Kojima's other game that's not Metal Gear Solid, but you still get a demo or something like that. Uh, that's how they they sold that back in the day. It had the tanker demo. Oh, that was Metal Gear Solid 2. It had the tanker demo. That's right. Where you play a snake at the very beginning. Okay. Oh, Kojima. What a what a wild yeah. thing. Oh, Kojima. <laughs> yeah. Ko. I Kojima. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> you want a uh, Dark Tide? Are you still playing a lot of Dark? I that game's kind yeah. of I didn't think that game was gonna have as much legs as it has had on Twitch. It's got I a have lot. Been really enjoying it yes yeah. dark tide is awesome i'm playing an inquisitor with a giant uh chain sword in fact i just got a chain axe i'm gonna try that yet bots. there's a bunch of cool levels the levels are beautiful the soundtrack is phenomenal <laughs> he loves the uh the dark tide as well that's Big true dark but tide i'm on a, i'm on a show right now can i come see a little bit later no no i can't you're gonna you have to come on right now anyway let's check it out <laughs> show and tell i apparently it's it to come on right now let's do it um but no dark tide has been it's been amazing um it's been a lot of fun you want to wave to zeke and say hi zeke hi zeke <laughs> hey, um, bud. the weapons are fun there's a brand new like big upgrade system that's in two where you can kind of upgrade weapons and get new uh stuff it's great in multiplayer uh it crashes there's some crash bugs and stuff but overall oh. it's been a lot of fun and it's visceral it's the when the music picks up it's awesome like i frequently find myself headbanging it's easy to play with other people um there are some optimization, like I said, and some crashing issues. But outside of that, it is it is really cool. Having a good time with it. Is the, Daddy. Oh, hold on. We got to hear. Well, now let's, what, what is he, it? He can't hear you, unfortunately. Okay, here we That's go. That's true. There we go. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> oh, now he knows. Say hi, JP. He doesn't want to talk. To me. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> What's I want to hear this question that he has for you, Co. It's very important. Do you, do you have a question? Do you have an important question? No. No. Okay. Oh, now he's shy. <laughs> now he's shy. Oh well. What do you think about Dark Tide? Is he? Can he what see? What do you think about screen? Dark Tide? He probably. Ah. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. You got a yeah. Nice. Nice. I kind of feel a little bit bad for showing this. Uh, <laughs> this he's he's actually seen this one. He he's he's like looking all over the place. So. Okay, great, okay. fantastic, fantastic. Zeke, are you gonna play this at all? I kind of want to play this. I like. I have like an inkling of like. I would play it if we did drop frames games. I would play. I need I'm to totally down for that. Yes. I kind of want to check it out. Totally okay. down for it. It's not the the melee combat. Uh, full. It looks just like every other melee combat game. Yeah. But for me, I was watching, uh, I think it was maybe Soda, and he was like casting spells or something. Psyker. Yeah. Is, is, have you done that or played that at all? Oh, I, I played a Psyker in the, in the beta before, before we did the pre-order beta. And uh, they're cool. They're a lot more long range. They're very spell-based. Um, they can do, they can like, they, they've got a lot of tricks that keep them at range. There's also an entire range class called a sharpshooter where their perks and stuff revolve around, you know, basically using guns and stuff. And then there's the Ogren, which is kind of the big hulking. He was, uh, we were playing with Strippin last night. He's yeah. got a level 30 Ogren. He was just destroying everything with a giant. They basically hold like a anti-aircraft gun. A, what, what is it called, Chad? A twin slugger or something? Absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a very cool class. Very heavy gunner kind of class. Twin stubber. There we go. Twin fuse stubber. You said there's advancement. Like, do the spells level up? Do they increase in damage? Like, what what is the actual advancement? Because that's always been there's my a, biggest turnoff for these games is what you're playing at level one, you're playing at level 30, from my perspective. There's three forms, uh, four forms of advancement. There is the perks that you get as you level up. So you actually get, like, three perks every five-ish levels, I think, and you have to pick which one is active. That's kind of a minor one. There is an overall gear score that levels up. So every weapon... Uh, you have like a melee and a range generally, and then you get like some trinkets and stuff later on. And those have a numerical value with them that level up. Then there is the uh, like the rarity system. And that is you get like passive bonuses on the different weapons and stuff. And you can also, if you have like a favorite weapon, you can spend a separate type of in-game currency in-game to uh, rank that up and like get, add different perks and re-roll them and stuff, which is coming later. Um, and then there is the, um, there's, there's guns, there's trinkets, there's character levels. There's item levels, and then there's the passive parts on the weapons as well. So is that what? So people, there's lots of different things. Yeah. Is that what people are grinding out then? Because I've watched like Strippin, for example, or or uh, Max uh, and Burke and all them. They've played like twenty or thirty hours of this. Yep. Now, I didn't realize people, there was that much to play. A lot of people are maxing characters and then starting other characters just because the game's kind of really fun to play. Um, but they just recently added in the last patch the ability to upgrade items, which add the random perks. And then I think in the next big patch, which I think is in three days when the game comes out, that oh. or today or tomorrow, um, they're going to be adding in the ability to re-roll perks. So that's going to let people really start making like specific builds and, and things of that nature, like getting god tier rolls and, and things like that to make like synergistic, you know, things between different weapons and perks and classes and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Is it, are, all, it, are all the missions out or is that getting added in the final release no. in three days? The final release is on the 30th. That's also when it hits Game Pass. Okay. And um, for that one, that's when all the missions are going to be out. There's like 60 plus weapons. Oh, that's another tier of Dang. progression. As you level up your character, it, it's trust levels. As you get more trust, you unlock the ability in the store to get different hey, types Daddy. of upgraded weapons. So you kind of have to progress through that. What's up, buddy? Um, I don't know what. You want to watch my game? <laughs> it's right up there. You're, you're watching it, buddy. We're going to have to go in a second. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm, uh, that being said, we got to go back to mommy. Can you say bye, everybody? Bye. <laughs> bye. I'll be back in just a minute. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, <laughs> Zeke, if you, uh, if you want to... Uh, biggest thing for me is, like, if I play this, I, I don't... I would have to just play with randoms, and I feel like the most... The... the Best aspect of this is you jump in with friends and I, I yeah. just like, I don't have that. I don't have that steady crew to constantly play with. So I've always been reluctant to jump into it. Um, right. Easy solo queue, by the way, it does well. have easy solo queue. Yes. There's a quick play. In fact, right when I got done last night, stripping immediately jumped into a solo queue. Huh. Um, yeah, it is. It is very much there. And a lot of people use it. Is it good? 
it's I mean it works it works fine yeah okay so and everyone's trying it's in everyone's interest to do well got it because so, everyone you know, gets benefits like, and stuff yeah yeah absolutely okay yeah i might i might no it, it out. Uh, it's funny because someone uh yesterday even came into my channel and was like oh thank you for like i get this a lot thank you for not playing dark tide god my <laughs> oasis and i was like it's everywhere it's kind of taking over twitch you're welcome yeah like it any night I open up my Twitch follow list and it's like seven or eight channels all just diving in and consistently playing for like seven, eight hour streams. And a lot it, of people are playing it right now. That's for sure. I always look at it and like, I don't, I played from what I played a Vermintide. It seemed so, and I played very early on admittedly, but it always seemed so shallow in terms of what was there to like progress. And it was just like, hold down left click to kill thousands of enemies there's no skill involved. You just hold down left click uh, <laughs> that early on. Yeah, so. that that was the biggest biggest gripe with me when I like the, all the years ago that I actually played Vermintide. It was like enemy uh, variants. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'd rather I'd rather face like if you're gonna have an enemy that comes at you in hordes, just have that one enemy come at you in hordes like every once in a while. I'd much rather have like a tougher enemy that's different. Yeah. And and the other thing too, I think when you mean variants, just for people that are like, there is variants. There were different skins on the same guy, just going, hey, hey. <laughs> like that's that's what we mean with a, at least what I mean when I say variants. Uh, you you can skin that as much as you want and make it look different, but it's all the same thing. These guys have a blue headband. <laughs> they are different. Yeah. How do you not see the blue headband? Yeah. Yeah. You're very focused in this clip. Uh, is this from last? Is that Strippin? Strippin's name? Uh, possibly. I, I was playing Dragbo? last night. I've been uh, doing some sponsor stuff for it. And I, if I did a big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was Strippin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then this is the bot. I think the game name's covering up his, his tag. But uh, how many levels are there? Like what? Like 30. level variants? For character right now. No, no. I mean, sorry. When I say levels, missions maybe oh, is a better word. Oh, levels. Um. I want to say there's like four major areas and I think 10 missions right now, and they're going to be adding more and release as well. So they have like the same general locations that you'll be doing different missions in. So you're not doing the same thing in the same area every time. And sometimes you take different paths through them and go through different areas and things like that as well. Yeah. Okay. And there's a bunch of different mission types. Like there's, there's like uh, raids, assassinations, supply runs, um, you know, fixing arrays, things like that. Zeke, you take Mondays off, right? Yes, sir. Tuesday is full release or Wednesday full release code. Thirtieth. Yep. Thirtieth. I'm actually. We could play 29th if you guys want. Uh, I'm down. Uh, are you streaming, sure. Zeke? Or are you out then? It would be a. It uh, would no, be a. I, 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 I'll be here Tuesday, Wednesday. It would be an end of stream I, thing for you, Zeke, because we would do it probably during Co's uh, late night stream. So that's hmm? six central ish five five thirty central which is four thirty your time okay you know that might, that might actually work like the back I, half I, of I, your stream i told people i'm gonna start signalis yeah you can get like four or five hours in it yeah. okay yeah Hit signalis is so good i'm excited for you to play that game yeah. yeah i'm excited for you to play it that'll be really fun because i'll show up on tuesday after a probably five or six hour stint of god of war Difficulty, very hard fights. <laughs> so I'll be nice and raged going into play. You guys, nice and lubed up. Yeah, can't wait for that. I'm, I'm, yeah. Those fights are gonna be the death of me. Uh, cool. Okay, we'll play then. Uh, let's do Tuesday, six thirty Eastern ish, for an hour or two. Cool. Jump into that. A little dark tide. Uh, we need a fourth, don't we? We seek out a fourth? Uh, we will. Barry, Barry is a big Dark Tider. He has oh. level 30 and has a sort of stuff so we can bring Barry along if you'd like. Cool. Um, and then there's also a bunch of other streamers that are playing. Maybe Strippin want to play with us. Or Bikeman's been playing too. So okay. there you go. Strippin, got, got lots of options. Those are better choices. Very, yeah. very good. Yeah. Good job. We'll find someone. Won't be hard. Bar dark time. Barry's actually pretty good at this game. Yeah. I'm kidding. I love Barry. <laughs> Which is a nice change of pace. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> anyway. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Co, what else have you been jumping into playing? I know you're back on that Valheim grind. Is back it, on that Valheim grind, is, man. Oh, my is, God. Is uh, is there enough in it that you're 
finding or is it just Valheim and you're always down to play more Valheim? A little of both. Uh, it's just Valheim and always down to play more Valheim. That's what I'm doing now, which, um, you know, has been just, I'm, I'm basically, the stuff I'm doing now is just. Barry! Zeke? <laughs> Barry, what did you do, Barry? See, your camera went uh, completely. Barry, uh, Barry, I'm sorry. Barry, I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I apologize. You're the best. It's, I love you, Barry. I love you so much. Oh, thank you. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. He's back. Let it be known that Barry is a benevolent overlord. It's true. Um, it does yeah, back show. in Valheim, I've uh, been having a great time with that. I'm just doing beginning stuff now. I A lot of people, the, the big new patch that just came out was Mistlands. Okay. And Mistlands is a very highly anticipated, it's the next tier, essentially. Oh. People are saying it's phenomenal. So it's a whole new region, new boss, new, there's magic now. There's like tons and tons of stuff they've added in. Um, and since I have also played, they also did the Hearth and Home expansion, which they added a lot of like base building things. And they also put in like... Um, like mountain caves, which I haven't seen yet. So I'm just now in my playthrough getting to like the new stuff, oh. uh, which is really cool. So I'm, I'm kind of the new stuff being the mountain region. I'm, I'm still a ways off from the Mistlands because I'm taking my sweet time with this game. Um, Are you doing another uh, crazy base blast. build? Or... I am doing a cathedral. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. The church yep, of Where Co I did kind real. of like a, like a town style build last time. Yeah. I'm doing like this, like if you take a cross... It's basically like each wing is a thing, and then there's going to be like a big central tower. How do you feel about inverted pyramids as a base? What do you, how do you feel about that? I feel like that's the way to do it in some games, but I also feel like this is a meme I'm not quite catching on to. Okay. No, that's the correct thing. That's, is this a meme? No, not really. I feel like an inverted pyramid would be a, night, a nightmare to support. Um, I'm thinking of like I'm, Da Vinci Code and like the Louvre. With like oh, yeah. that inverted look, pyramid. inverted pyramids are great. They're they're fantastic. I don't know if it would work. I don't that's even know a Terraria if, thing. <clears throat> yeah, could you even build an inverted pyramid in Valheim? You could. Like as one. You could. You could. You could use um, iron supports on the outer rim, and you could start on, oh! a, on, a, on a square at the bottom and do them out like that. And anywhere an iron support huh. touches becomes like it's touching the ground, which is a cool little. Hit. Okay. So I think I'm absolutely what you're saying, saying JP because it's an inverted pyramid because everything like falls down to the middle. Yeah, well, it, a Are long time ago, a long, long time ago, me, Strippin, and Tomato played Terraria, and I was I was the base builder, and they would go mm -hmm. and, you know, actually play the game. Uh, <laughs> and so I was a little bit uh, upset about that, so I built an inverted pyramid, and they were both just like, this is the stupidest base. How the fuck could you do this? is like a waste, like, you're just wasting our time. And then it ended up being, like, the best base to build in Terraria. For like it's actually purposes. a really yeah. smart way to do it. I like yeah, lucked in enemies frequently the attack you from each side. So yes. yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. They were still very upset about it and constantly commented on it. Uh, random question that I don't know if you have the answer to. Chat might be the one that uh, provides it. Have you played this game on the Steam uh, Deck Co? Nope. It is like one of the highest rated Steam Deck games to play on Deck. I can uh, completely see it. I was kind of curious what that would how that would be. I'm looking for something to play on the Steam Deck. It would Just be weird navigating play, the menu without a mouse. The, the inventory well, menu, you think? Yeah. Maybe they do something for the Steam Deck. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I, I see, I, I would prefer a controller for most everything, Yeah. but I couldn't see it with Alheim. Like, there's so much point, point like, clicking you have to do in the menus. I guess it's got a touch screen and it's got, like, the weird haptic pad thing. So, so it does, so touch screen is how they do that. Okay, okay. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet. I'm, I'm completely in the dark. So Is Valheim on Switch or is it PC only at the moment? I, I think it's on a console, if I'm not mistaken. Might be, like, Xbox. I'm not sure which one. Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, we'll, we'll check in in the future well, when you get to the new content. Listen. People saying like the touchpad, a touch screen is one thing. Like I could totally get that, but a touchpad is nowhere fucking even com comparable to a mouse. Okay. Oh, Xbox early 2033, 2023. There we gotcha. Go. It's coming to Game Pass. Yeah. It's a good Game Pass game. I never put that much time into it uh, the first time around. I don't know why. Super I, worth I, I got to stop looking for games to play because it's about to get real busy in December. And I'm like, I'm going to keep playing valorant and league let's play those at the same time because fuck your mental health right like i just keep raging but i need a little Whatever bit of floats your boat man yeah 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 i need i need a little like i've uh, said multiple times valheim. in my streams of it valheim is like gaming therapy 
<laughs> yeah. It's like, like just, you work you, your oh, shit absolutely. Out. <laughs> just, you will just like, you're cruising along uh, a freaking um, ocean for like 20 minutes at a time. You're just like chopping down trees and just, just relaxing, having a good old time. Yeah. Uh, it's, it really is. It's therapeutic. It is actually therapeutic. Might, might become my, my one piece uh, watching game where I can pay half attention to both and not remember a thing. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, I love Valheim for that, for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, and for those of you, like, I do have a Steam Deck, but I haven't, like, fucked around enough, I guess, with the touchpad, so... I I'll, either, I'll yeah. try and fuck around with them because they're like there's been more than more than a few people saying like touch pads are really really good because any touch pad i've tried before is like i just want to hook up a mouse immediately i'm like this sucks i want to yeah. hook up a mouse yeah um but if if they're like revolutionarily good like i'll come back and i'll change my fucking tune there you go <laughs> can always play persona 5 royale as well zeke on the steam deck it would be good but that might be stream content i don't know if you ever true you ever plan to go and check that out? Finish that old, that thing. You All know right. what? I think you're right. I think I have <laughs> 150 hours. Yeah. That I could probably just lay it around. Probably just three block months out. worth, right? Like that's. Yeah. I could probably if just If you stream block out eight hours a, a day, that's 40 hours a week, not counting, you know, weekends. That you could knock that out in a month. Full time job. Okay. Easy. Okay, sounds good. Actually, you have I'll to come factor back. in Zeke time. It might be like a month and a half. Might be around like two point. twenty, two thirty. Dude, if it's any, if it's any, like I played through it, so like it'll probably be shorter the next, the second time I would imagine, even with the extra content. But for <laughs> Royale, uh, maybe what's that? Yeah, yeah. like because there wouldn't be there wouldn't be as much um, wondering w like what to do because the core story, like there's, I, I realize there's added stuff before you get all. Chad gets all shitty about it. I realize that is stuff, but the main core story, like the of it is still in the game right it's still the main part of the game yes it is persona 5 so yeah and more yeah, yeah. so it'll probably be it'll probably go a lot quicker i don't even know what i'm talking about this i'm not doing it i'm not gonna do it <laughs> yeah no, you're never see. going to see persona 5 royal on my channel unless unless there's nothing Hold zero on. else to play co we so both Zeke, have a hundred months are you starting this week or next week we both have a hundred months coming up oh, co. i want my game to be persona 5 royale we could double up and do two days of persona one five day homie <laughs> do you think yeah, one day is enough to let's... hook me back into it to tap it in Ooh, is it jp yeah, do you, you have get the new story up? you get the new Wait, story can right we, away can, can people pick the same games Absolutely, it's your choice. Are we gonna do a week? Okay, I need if to you know. You get like ten need... of you guys. Like, I'll do ten days in a row. <laughs> All right, so here's what we need. I need the next one hundred. I need the next nine one hundred months. We subs need, on we need Zeke nine. to message me. I think we I'm in. Coordinate. I think I'm we're at... gonna get Zeke to play Persona Five Royal. I think I'm at ninety six, ninety seven. I forget where I'm at. I'm somewhere okay. in the mid nineties. So once we get like nine You're of close. us together, and then and then he's gonna play like sixty hours. And then what? You're going to put it down? After 60 <laughs> hours, you're going to put Dude, it down? You get the new Watch stuff. Watch me. 10 hours in. Watch me. 10 hours in, you already have a massive mm -hmm. amount of new stuff. Yeah. So. Watch your chat riot. That's what would happen. <laughs> you, I would, they, that's Seriously, you're going to show them 60 oh, hours man. of Persona 5 and then just drop it. Chat would be like, yeah, I'm never coming back. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> I'm if I agreed to play Persona 5 Royal all the way through, I would lose my YouTube guy. Like, he would be gone. He would fuck <laughs> off. Forever, Scott hates it. With a passion, but he hates he's vocal about he hates it. Like, oh, dude, that's uh, even more of a it. reason to do it. Yeah, this sounds like you're just convincing us. Oh, even for Lord, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a win win win. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. I have very few opportunities to mess with Scott. This is very enticing. Yeah. yeah. It's true. It's true. I don't know why we started talking about Persona, but here we are. It's my fault. Anyway, it's my fault. Anyway, it's my fault. Uh, co five minutes on Evil West. I oh, saw it's fun. I actually yeah had a great time with it. Yeah. Wait, you finished it? I did. No. Oh, okay. I, I started got... to say like I knew the game was short, but I didn't think it was that short. I, I'm kind of done playing it for now because freaking Valheim has its vixen claws in me. But As it um, does. I got close to the You're end. You're making me want to it's... reload it. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. But I got I got close to the end. I think. And huh? uh, dude, it's fun. It's just like I have. Uh, I did a sponsored two hour stream for it. Ended up going four hours. Played another four hours the next day. I think. Um, it is a. Get some combat. It is a double A, alt okay. western, god of war essentially. 
Like it is, it is, it is a super kind of clunky, heavy hitting. You've got all sorts of wild weapons, tons of tons of tools, lots of different things you can do in combat. Um, there's dodging, there's parrying, there's a super mode. There, like it, it really does feel like a more indie God of War. Um, the story and the characters are kind of fun. Uh, the world is super, super cool and interesting the way that they do it. And it's all about basically like a, a secret, um, it's just like a secret Western organization in probably a little, not, not current day, but a little bit in the past, but it's an alt pass because there's like all sorts of crazy tech and stuff Yeah. Uh, that basically defends the United States against vampires and like other monsters. So, but the, but the head of the U S government is like in on it. So they like supply you and everything. So Sick. it's, it's wild, man. It's wild. It's a lot of fun. It's uh it's a wild trip. I, it, it's, it's one of those games that I feel like it'd be, I don't know if it's on game pass, but I feel it'd be perfect for game pass. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Evil West on game pass. It's not, it's not on game. Pa oh, it's too bad. What does like it be perfect for it? What does it cost? It is forty nine ninety nine, not on sale at the moment. Seems yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe a, a maybe a little bit of a sale game. That's it's a little expensive for what now. it is, but yeah. it's it's still fun. I like it's still very enjoyable. Yeah, fifty bucks at the moment um, not on sale. Who made this game? Focus. Something oh, it's Focus it? Entertainment is the publisher, but I'm not oh. sure who the devs are. I Isn't think. it like prior Painkiller devs or something like that? Oh, 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 Flying Wild Hog. The devs yeah. are the same people that made Shadow Warrior. There you That's go. Okay. okay. That's what it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I uh, got code for this, but I didn't have not checked it out yet. I, I saw the reviews and they basically said it's like, they all said it's the most B-movie game in the best possible way. Uh was yeah. like the general consensus that I saw. It's a good way to say it. Yep. Yeah. Um. Now actually seeing some proper like boss gameplay, you do kind of look like Kratos barehanded there, just like punching the shit out of that <laughs> boss. <laughs> it does it, there, there are a lot of uh, similarities. Yeah, a lot of similarities. Yeah, yeah. Very heavy combat, so it's it's not really clunky because you can parry or dodge out of pretty much any animation, which is really nice, except a few. Um, but it is very heavy and kind of, you know, weighty combat. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's quick. Did you say how many hours there were or not? Um, I think I'm about eight-ish in, and I feel like I'm getting close to the end. Someone in my chat said you yeah. weren't. So I'm gonna let me go to oh, how really? long to beat. Oh. Let's check out the old how long to beat. It is Oh, okay. Maybe you were ten and a half hours is main story. Yes. I definitely felt like I was getting close to the end. Yeah. 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 No, the first another, number another I saw levels. was main and sides. One hundred and twenty-one what hours? What? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one hundred and twenty-one. Yeah, that's, that's sounds right. That's weird. Sure, let's go with that. That's wrong. Yeah. Ten and a half hours. Main story. Yeah. Seventeen hours. All styles. There you go. It does look very much like a B game, though Zeke. If you were at all curious, it would be kind of right up your alley. What else have you been playing, Zeke? Anything on uh, on your channel besides the Metal Gears? Um, let's see. There is a couple of games, one of them being, um, oh, it's going to be hard for you to find because I, I played it a little bit on Indie Day and then I played it a lot on my own time okay. called The Case of the Golden Idol. Oh, yes. I'll look. I'll Dude, awesome. It. The Case of the awesome. Golden Idol. Now, it it's pretty indie in its, in its like graphics and like stuff. It's, it's a point and click mystery detective investigation, like, I really like it's an intriguing game. It's it's you actually have uh to put together this the, every scene is a murder but they're all related though. They're not different like they use like the same through line through the entire like every different scene, but every scene is a murder. So it's like if you had Lord Bandycock in this one, you might have Lord Bandycock in the next one. Or he might be killed in the third one. You know what I'm saying? Like it's uh This is uh, this an is an actual... Obra Din like. Yes. Oh. It's a cohesive, like every every uh act, I think they're called acts, but every act, every every mystery investigation that you have to solve is connected to the to the ones previous. Um but it's it's the golden idol is is present in every one of these, and sometimes it's used 
in the murder. Sometimes it's it's uh, a red herring. Like there's a lot of like I, I red herrings in the game. Things that don't actually matter that you think like oh he did this like oh that doesn't matter because this you check like nooks and crannies and all this kind of stuff. There is a setting in the game which I really like where uh it shows you all the all the clickable places you can just turn it on and it'll show like a little glowing dot of all the all the things you can search so you don't have to like really search around hidden object style um but you gather up all these things and you read like you have to put together who the people are you have to get their first name and last name and the thing is like in one book it'll say mr beasley and then the other say it'll use their first name nathan or whatever and you Nathan have to figure B. out yeah who is who is uh who's the last name beasley who does that belong to and you have to look through these clues like uh shredded like piece of paper like you're seeing here um and also like when you click on some of the the people in the scene the ones that are alive they'll have like one little sentence and that little sentence could be like a clue or it could be absolutely nothing so like they'll say like oh I'm so tired. I just woke up. And then you realize that Mr. Beasley had had access to a sleeping potion. So he might have given him a sleeping potion. And that's why that guy is saying he's so tired. Or this uh, poison makes this person uh, blink uh, repetitively. So then you go like, fuck, you back out, you back out and you look through all everybody like, who's blinking? You're blinking repetitively. You've had this and that kind of shit. And it's, hey, it's really fun. It's it's. Yeah, it's auto saves all the way through. So like you can you can like open it, close it whenever you want. Um, you can come back to it. it. My my particular method is to go through all of the see the red underlines right there. Yeah, just find them. And all. then at the very bottom, you see the words. It's it's adding all those words, and it shows you on the on the right hand side of the bottom the twenty six out of twenty six. That means I found all the clues, so I don't need to look for any more underlined words or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and then. If you if it if I show the exploring or the thinking scene, the thinking scene has different like there, there this is it right here. So what happened is on the left, the people involved are in the middle, and then the extra like story like how you piece it together is on the right. Like that's stuff you don't absolutely need to do. The only thing you absolutely need to do is the left hand side. If you fill that incorrectly, you can move on. But it helps if you. To, to do it correctly it helps if you have all the people labeled properly and it's just really fun it's it's the graphics are not great they, they remind me of like commodore 64 type graphics but it's an intriguing story and the way like it makes you actually feel like you're figuring shit out it doesn't like <laughs> give it it doesn't like hand you shit it it has that great like eureka feeling i'm sure a lot of people like like Obra Dinn had like yeah oh that that feeling like oh got it <laughs> uh it's 10, 10 oh it's 10% off 1619 cuz nothing's ever full price on steam also my part it, of exactly. the yeah the autumn thing what was that co yep good price for it oh i, I yeah. played the demo and loved it yeah uh oh yeah there's yeah. there's a demo in case you're at all curious about it yeah it, it definitely does look inspired from like a little bit of overdeen for yeah. sure yep. yeah Cool. Well, this it's just tableaus. There's no 3D anything. It's just like this room, this room, this room. Yeah. Cool. That's uh, the case of the Golden Idol. I'm trying to think if there uh, no QTEs, nothing wonky. It's all just point and click. Nice. I'm trying to think if there has been anything else besides God of War that I've even played. Real Off quick. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. While you're thinking of that, just kind of an honorable mention game that I, I don't know if I've talked too much about on the show, but I did kind of want to make sure yeah. people know about if they like this kind of thing. I got into this game called Star Sector, and it is that's right incredibly cool. Like I, I tried it for, for a night just for fun, and it is one of the better space sandbox games I've ever played. I used to be a big fan of a game called uh, Escape Velocity, and it has huge Escape Velocity vibes. It's made by a very small team. Uh, there's tons of different ships. There's a huge living world. You can build, build planet uh, stations around planets. You can own an entire fleet. Uh, you can outfit them with with a plethora of different weapons. Uh, it is it is real time combat. You can also have it do auto autopilot combat if you want. A huge modding scene, and uh, and it's very well priced. So if if you like any type of space sandbox games, 
definitely check out Star Sector. Is it, it new is, or it did it just pop up? Super cool. Did no, like no, no. It's someone... been in development for years and years and years. Okay. It's it's been a long time. Um, I just people have been hounding me to try it forever, and finally I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And sure enough, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah I'm definitely gonna go back to it as it keeps developing. <laughs> so, so one of my streams says, "I'm afraid I might not ever play another game after this." <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, it, it is it is really really good. It is really really good. There's no question. Like it is, it is a very deep hole to fall into. Damn. It's one of those games that you know there's people that have just probably thousands and thousands of hours in. Yeah. Um, especially if you get into the modding and everything. Yeah. Cool. Seems like a game for people who enjoy. Now I might pronounce this incorrectly. Bo Boax Bo books. I think uh, it's books. Oh. No, no, it's 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 Buox. You got it right the first time. And Buox. Um, yes, the, the, I love little, the little hieroglyphic Buox. squiggly things on the pages. Yeah, the, I agree. It's it's probably for for them as well. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Some Buox. Uh, I went and played some more Battlefield. <laughs> they had, Battlefield. Yeah, some Battlefield. Tw that was the one game uh, that I've played. I think there might be one other. Uh, because they put this gun in, Co. When I pull it, this is a, it's a rail gun and it's incredibly oh. fucking broken. I don't know if they like Hell. are going to change this, but it's like, basically you, if your is, cursor is, is like on a, them, a race tool, yeah. if your cursor is on them and you fire from pretty much any range, they're going I to just die. Saw that. They're going to die. It's, it's like. Completely. Oh, what the <laughs> hell, dude? What I'm, is this? I'm not even like. There's no drop. No, there is a very teeny tiny amount of drop, only at like massive distance. And even then, it's crazy. And the most the the crazier part. This is uh for season three, which which launched I think Wednesday. The crazier part, Co, is it can go through vehicles. And so if you shoot and hit the pilots and stuff, if you shoot where a pilot is of a plane or a helicopter, it will kill them and it will knock them out of the, and you, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. It's so good. Now, so it does everyone use it, them. Is that like there? It's pretty heavily used. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is the name of, I think it was in, was it in perfect dark where you like, did it you like x-ray vision? Yeah. It was like x-ray through the walls, like the eraser gun and you'd shoot them. Yeah. And it would, it would like, yeah. The far sight. There you go. Yeah. Chatter saying far sight. I never, I never played much perfect dark, but you can't see through the walls. Uh, but it is, you don't have to, if you know, it's ridiculous. Man. The I'm not even that like, uh, the, the best way I can describe it is, uh, I'm nowhere like shroud is in another fucking realm of existence. When it comes to aiming, I was still getting like 50, 60 kills a game. I watched Shroud play with this gun. He was in like, I think he pulled like nine. I, he might've broke a hundred in one of the games. Um, it was ridiculous. What? Like it, just absolutely oh. insane. Like I just blew up that fucking plane right there from that distance. It's so much fun just to like. Because why not? It's so much fun just to like throw into a round of this, use this gun have a couple laughs at how stupid it is and then close the game. It's I had a lot of fun with that. It also makes Funny enough, as you're charging exactly it up. Exactly what they were hoping you would do. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It has this like charge up ping as well when you're using it and so then it, it it's got a cool effect to it, but yeah, this it's is like also you brought the a new lightsaber map. to a knife fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm hitting that plane by the way here in just a couple seconds. It's kind of Well, no, maybe I missed on that. There is some drop off as you can see the rail like shoot right below it. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. But I'm still trying, which is the more ridiculous thing because it can actually connect. Uh, this is the other new map they they put in. It ran fine. I didn't have any like big issues from a performance uh, side of things. Granted, you know, forty ninety, blah blah blah. Uh, but I was pulling like steady one hundred plus FPS. Had no issues. It was all of those seem fixed from uh, from launch. Still battlefield Good. at the end of the day. Um, it also went to game pass and so there's a massive amount okay. of new players so if you have game pass you can now grab oh. 2042 um which is kind of cool it's it might be the you know yeah some sort of a um revival in terms of player base but 
Battlefield in general, they had uh, all of their games were on Steam sale. Like Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 were both 90% off. So they were like $5 on Steam. And so there you go. All those games kind of got uh, a pretty big bump in player uh, player base over the the Thanksgiving holidays. So it was fun. It was Battlefield still at the end of the day. Um, But this gun is also just absolutely hilarious. Stupid. Yeah. The sounds of it. It's very OP very op uh did we talk about pof no wait Kel, you didn't play any of the ruthless poe stuff right not a bit yeah i didn't either did you nope okay nope i watched a little bit of uh like mathel play it looked real stupid and hard which it's ruthless exactly I guess. what it's supposed to be that's yeah. what it's supposed to be that's the point <laughs> yeah i watched uh for those people Kriparian used an alchemist on a helmet and got like a life, like a 72 life triple resist helmet, which is hilarious because Alks are just incredibly, incredibly rare in that whole mode. Um, and so that was pretty funny to see. Uh, I, th- I think that's it for me. Any other games you guys want to bring up? I'll look at my past VODs just to see. They did that PC gaming show. Nothing was shown there. Uh, Co, did you watch that? Were you sponsored to watch that? Nope. Okay. They didn't. They, uh, they sent me an email about it, and and I was like, "Yeah, I'm interested. What's in it?" And they were like, "Yeah, this is what's in it." And I'm like, "Yeah." It was basically. Uh, <laughs> it, it was. Hey, you remember all those trailers? Uh, yeah. <laughs> th- this is what's coming out next year. Uh, chat saying scorn that we were going to talk about scorn. We kind of talked about it last week with wheat a little bit. I don't know if there's yeah. too much. Yeah. <laughs> we we talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's. God, I not a fan. Really not a fan. I really did. Like I, did I started too. off. I started off really enjoying it, and then it's just like. And the thing is, like, I hope people out there realize, like, I am very forgiving. I am extremely forgiving for jankness and and <laughs> indie shit and all that kind of stuff. But like, man, it was just it just turned me right off, like immediately. Uh, the combat yeah, of it. It's, it's not good, man. It's not good. I wish we could say otherwise, but the gameplay is not good. The world is beautiful. Story is yeah. is subjective. You like that kind of thing. Some people hated it. I thought it was all right. Um, there but, is yeah. Uh, there is one game that I, I I would love to to just mention for two minutes. Okay. And it's called we Endo Parasitic. Oh, the one armed crazy. Yep. One. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Endo Parasitic is the name of the game. Uh, it is. It's a weird it's a weird concept, but it's fucking great. It's really it fun and challenging. Um let me just read you the blurb here. Endo Parasite is on Steam. Uh three limbs ripped off, infected with a deadly parasite. You must save your research. So that's the premise of the game. You are a one-armed dude and you are crawling around. Now, you would think it would be super frustrating, but you actually get you actually get around pretty good. Like it's it's a click and drag. So you Click, click uh, over here, hold down the mouse, drag yourself. So you go, eh, uh, eh, uh, just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Now, the, uh, the, the crux of the game is that you only have one arm to do everything. So if you need to shoot, you have to use your one arm to do that. So you can't move. Kinda so you cool. like blast, blast the things, right? And then uh, in order to reload, you have, like, you have to either... Get real fast at reloading because it's a click and drag. Everything in the game is click and drag. So you drag the, the shells out of the shotgun. You drag new shells into the shotgun. And you only have so much room. Um, see that little that little grate? Or it looks like, it looks like a little a grill or whatever. That's as much room as you have in your one pocket. Because that's all you have is one fucking pocket to put shit in. Yeah. So you can put, uh, I think, eight, eight shotgun shells. Uh, twice as many um, bullets or two flares in the flare gun and the flare gun is like the the op gun or the best gun so but you can only have two shells in reserve you get one in the one in the flare and two in in reserve whatever so you pick your best gun but uh you have to like shoot like and some of the enemies take like four bullets so if you're using the revolver it's four bullets pow 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 right if another one's coming you have to fucking drag yourself a fucking way real fast (laughs) And then you have to flip out the flip out the revolver, like basically like in essence, lay it on the ground, take each one of the bullets out or the shells, spin shells out, put the bullet back in, and then pick <laughs> it back up, aim it at the guy and hope he hasn't got to you by that time. 
it gets really tense and it's fucking funner than it, than I thought it was going to be. Uh, and it's, it's the, I think the thing that could have made this game bad, but, but they it, it is the locomotion, how you get around in the game yeah. because of your only one arm, but they actually make it pretty quick. Like you can, you can really scoot. and <laughs> It's kind of funny. Uh, Trying to like scooting around with just your torso and one arm, just zit, 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 zit. And like, if they come, like, if the enemies come upon you, like, you're zipping away as fast as you can, like, with your <laughs> one arm. Like, it's really cool. And, and the story, the environment of it is actually like pretty goddamn well done. Yeah. Like, you're the last survivor on this fucking asteroid and you've got to save your research because you got to get your research out. It's like, it's like the, the story of aliens. You know, it's like, we want to warn everybody against this. And the only way to do that, you got to kill as many as you can and then get the word out. Like, don't come here. This shit is fucking like this is a death mission the whole way through. Like, yeah. You know, you're not going to survive, but you don't want to anybody else to die because you didn't get the word out. And it's great. Damn. So, I, so I you're not even trying to it. save yourself. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't think. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> if there is a way I didn't, I, I actually didn't finish it, but I think I'm pretty close. I might've gotten pretty close. Um, but. It, I, I want to finish it. I don't know how it ends. Um, but like so many games came out, like, yeah. Yeah. Took out my time. But uh, it's 10 bucks on Steam. Uh, developed and published by uh, Narayan, Narayan Walters. So it might be one dev. I'm not sure. Sweet. But yeah, it's fun. It was, it was, it's, it's. Do you think that would, thought, uh, like the, the scope of the game in terms of what we're looking at, I think would work on like mobile, mobile, but. Would the actual game mechanics work from like a touchscreen perspective, Zeke, in terms of like tapping to drag and then like tapping to load the bullets and all that stuff? Would that work? I don't see why not. Yeah, yeah that'd be kind of. A, I I think that'd be more interesting than using a mouse for it. Well, it's it's also because uh, you don't have to like hold down the mouse to move the arm. Like you just move the arm with the mouse. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, you move it's the not arm a with click the mouse, and drag, and when you, it's just move. And then when you want to move, like you can move your arm like this just with the mouse. But oh. when you want to grab, it's like it's like it's a like, click grab. It's like getting over it type deal. Or your yes, arm. Exactly. Can, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. That'd be kind of fun. That's out on uh PC only. Super indie, yep. it looks uh, like. Steam, as far as I know. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else, but that's okay. where I, that's where I got it. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. our show. No more video games for a month. <laughs> nope. uh, yeah. Zeke is gone next week. Golden Boy FTW will be on. Uh, I might try to grab another G4 staffer, and maybe we'll talk to them a little oh. bit about G4. Uh, that'd be kind hey. of fun. Although that might be talk to death, and they might not want to talk about that. So I'll uh, I'll touch base with them, and we'll it's see where we a, go with that. Kind of an unfortunate situation. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and then the 8th of December... We'll all be back here on that Thursday at, uh, <clears throat> I want to say 7 p.m. Eastern for the Game Award co-stream. Uh, me, Zeke, and Co. will be there as well as Jericho uh, joining us to watch all that. I'm kind of fucking excited for that show. I think we're going to see some crazy trailers. Uh, Mortal Kombat's already been rumored to show up there, uh, whatever that new uh, game looks like, and that's seemingly awesome. Uh, I heard it's a platformer. Yeah. That's what I've I've seen that as well. It's gonna be real. You use a scorpion hook to get around. You can freeze yep. things, make ledges with Sub Zero. It'll be good. Beautiful. I think yeah, they we'll actually get, did that. They, uh, you might be right. I want to yeah. say there was a scorpion platformer back there in the day. Might anyway. have been. Yeah. <laughs> Diablo Four release date. I think it'll be a big show. I think it's gonna be a pretty big, pretty big show. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, that's eighth of December. We'll be back on the eleventh as well. That'll be our God of War uh, spoiler episode. 18th will probably be the final show of the year. Don't really have any big plans for it yet, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. And then 25th, and then this Christmas, we're Tuesday. out. Tuesday. Yeah. What's Tuesday? 29th. Cool. Oh, yeah. 29th. We're doing, uh, I, I had already, thank you for reminding me. I got to put that on my radar. <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> we're nice. playing Dark Tide, uh, <laughs> drop frames uh, at 6 30 Eastern ish. Well, three of us, and we'll find a fourth, Barry, another streamer, or something like that. We'll check out Dark Tide. That uh, fully releases on Wednesday. Um, so that's what we got going on in terms of drop frames individually. Let's find out. Zeke, what's going on? Do some shout outs. Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Ezekiel the third. You can find me at or slash Ezekiel underscore III on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Ezekiel the third, all spelled out on Instagram, TikTok, and Hive. 
<laughs> oh God, please. Uh, <laughs> if you want to watch me, I'm uh, streaming at 10 a.m. Pacific most every day, except Mondays. I do a TTRPG called 100 Club. It's a Cowboy Bebop inspired show, uh, role playing show, tabletop role playing show. So if you want to check that out, that's at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific tomorrow. But otherwise, 10 a.m. Pacific. I, be, I will be starting Signalis on uh, Tuesday. Yes. And uh, as we've said, after, for, I'll play that for the first half, maybe a little more, five, four or five hours. And then we'll play some uh, Dark Tide. And then I'll continue it on Wednesday. And then I'm out uh, from the first, on vacation from the first to the sixth. And I'll be back the seventh. Uh, I don't know, playing something. So <laughs> thank you for watching. See you next time. Awesome stuff, Co some shout outs my name is ko hi as always big thanks to jp and zeke it was a lot of fun today uh, i am currently completely infatuated with valheim we're going to see a lot of that as we build out the cathedral get to mountain area then the plains and then the new mistlands biome which i'm super excited about then we'll also be doing callisto protocol pretty soon as well probably some more dark tide here and there as that is a lot of fun and uh yeah oh hi gassy mexican indeed well whatever. oh hey is he in the room with you what happened anyway, if I click ugh. this? Now you're upside okay. down. <laughs> okay, help. look, yeah, it's uh, stand by. We gonna do that. So then, oh, oh, you're fucking. Oh, you're titled. Uh, there, oh, okay. ah, there, there, there we, we go. go. Okay, okay, anyway. Okay, yeah. All right. Thanks for being here, y'all. Appreciate it. You can find me there. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week if I don't see you earlier. I'll be on tonight around six thirty. If you want to see how the build's coming along, and uh, we're probably gonna hang out and. We'll grab for some mountains and chill. So. Awesome Come stuff. get your Valheim therapy on. <laughs> cool. Hi. I have a shit ton of sponsored streams coming up. I'm also currently playing God of War. We'll be playing that a little bit after today. Uh, maybe a little bit after MCU crew tomorrow. We're talking the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Christmas special. That'll be at 1 p.m. Eastern with myself, Jesse Cox, and that Bronze Girl Tuesday. Probably more God of War. Some Dark Tide with the DF folks. We already talked about that. Uh, Wednesday, we're continuing Last Call for Adventure, which is our brand new D&D show. Uh, that'll be week number three. You can go to lastcallforadventure.com for any more information on that. And then I'll be doing a big sponsored stream right after that. I don't... I'm going to... Hopefully, they still want to do it right. after I say this. We're doing a sponsored stream. They're letting me play Crisis Core Reunion two weeks early. I don't know why. What? They, they reached out to me and said, do you want to play this early and have it sponsored? I said, okay. So that's what we're going to do for shit, three dude. hours on Wednesday. Very excited. That's for that. amazing. Thursday, we're starting another game as the embargo is up for that. Probably a sponsored stream. We got, I, it's been crazy. I have a bunch of stuff happening in December. I'll update wow. everyone on next week on it. So that's that. And that's the show. Thank you guys for joining. Dude, that us. is actually amazing. Yeah. I is that don't. Sony? Sony reached out? I don't think it was Sony. I, I want to say it was Square. Yeah, it was Square. Very cool, man. Super yeah. cool. So that's Wednesday. They told, I think I could promote that. If not, I'm sorry, Square. Okay. It was lost in translation. That's what happened between everything else. Zeke, what do you, you're very interested in something, Zeke. I have uh, to know. Yeah, um, there's going to be a downtime on uh, Dark Tide on Tuesday. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, for the release. Is it down that night? 2 p.m. They're going down 2 p.m. Sunday. <laughs> Till oh, wait, 2 p.m. Sunday. 2 p.m. What time? So hold on. 1900 UTC, which is 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so if we're going to play at 4 p.m., we might be okay. Maybe. We'll see. We'll, we'll, uh, Maybe we'll, we'll have to play it by ear. We'll figure it out. <coughs> yeah, figure it we'll out. play it yeah, by yeah, ear. Yeah, we'll I'll let you guys know. That's it for Drop Frames. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Oh, and Zeke, have a good vacation. We won't see you next week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank you. You're gone. Yeah. Bye-bye. We're out of here. <laughs>